Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our channels. In this video, we're going to talk about Acumatica payments. So as of Acumatica's 2023 R2, Acumatica has now introduced Acumatica payments. And today we're going to go over and demonstrate some of the benefits. But first, we're going to summarize those benefits here. So the first one is click to pay. So as you generate an invoice in Acumatica or in a sales order, you have the ability to send out payment links. And we're going to show that in our demonstration. But essentially, the payment link can go out to the customer. They can click on it and they can make the payment and then the payment will get updated into Acumatica. Acumatica Payments offers the ability to do credit card terminals, complete with Apple and Google Play, supporting the latest EMV chip. The Acumatica payment system, the integration is in the core. So what does that mean? Well, if you're an existing Acumatica customer, you know that we've supported Authorize.net from the very beginning. But with Acumatica payments, the same thing holds true. So with every version, every release of Acumatica going forward, the payment system will always be updated. There won't be any separate customizations or separate merchants to deal with getting the software up to date so that you can upgrade, or if there's a problem, then it's supported directly by Acumatica. So it's a big benefit. The next thing is level three processing. So for those customers that you have that have Visa and MasterCard, you know, enterprise corporate Visa and MasterCard cards, you can get the same rate as if the card was physically handed to you. So that's really key. The, the system sends over all the corporate information about your invoice, what you're buying and everything, and it reduces the rate down to, again, that physical card processing rate. We support EFT and ACH payments. So with the payment links we talked about just a moment ago, when those are sent out, or if you're on the phone with a customer, a routing number and a check number is all you need, and it can debit the amount, similar to the way you would make a utility payment on a website or a payment for a cable bill, something like that. It's integrated with our B2B portal. So your customers can sign into your business to your Acumatica business to business portal and they could see their bills and make a payment. It supports all the competitive rates out there. So you send in your statement, just like any other merchant, you send in your statement, they'll review the rates, see what you're using, how you're using it, and either better or match the rates. Most of the time, they'll better the rates. It works with the Acumatica mobile app. If you haven't used the Acumatica mobile app, know that it's free with Acumatica. And it allows people in the field to, in this case, collect payments. So this is something that's going to evolve. Right now, you can key in credit card information. But later, it'll work with Bluetooth devices. And you'll have the ability to use those Bluetooth devices to scan and read a credit card that's handed to you. And Acumatica Payments is backed by the world-class customer service. So great people, fast access to answers, a great portal, live chat, and even assistance with PCI compliance. So if you're getting hit with a PCI compliance fee every month, that's because you didn't quite fill out the form. Well, Acumatica Payments, they'll help you make sure that you're compliant so you don't get that extra charge. So let's dive into the demo. So right here, we're looking at a Acumatica invoice. The invoice is for 95 cents, 96 with the tax of a penny. And you could see under details, you know, we just have a simple non-stock SKU here. It's a 95 cent line item. We'll remove the hold and we'll release the invoice. And when we go over to payment links and we refresh, you can see that Acumatica has generated a payment link. So once configured, this link can be automatically emailed using a notification template, one that you define and configure. 
You can also include this information on your invoice form. So if we print it out and we'll turn it into a PDF, this is how it would be emailed. You can see the invoice, it looks normal, but you have the ability to configure, for example, a payment now button. So the customer right through PDF, they can click on it. When they do, it'll go into the portal. They can see all the information about the invoice, all the line items and everything. Choose their payment method and submit their payment. The customer can. Now, once the payment is processed, the customer clicks submit on this PCI compliant page they entered their information into. When you go back to Acumatica and you take a look at the invoice, notice the invoice has a balance of 96 cents. But if we sync this payment, Acumatica goes out, it looks and checks on the Acumatica payment system, it checks for any payments the customer may have made, and it automatically creates the payment here and applies it. So if we take a look at the payment, you can see here's the payment. We go to card processing. You can see the payment, its authorization, and how it came in and when it came in. Now, you can do this at the invoice level, or there is a payment link screen. And many of you know from our process screens, these process screens can be automatically scheduled with the action that you desire. So you could schedule this to run daily or hourly or whatever you'd like. One of the actions is to create the payment links. If you want to set up your system to create the payment links on a schedule, you can do that. The way I've configured it is every time an invoice is posted, it automatically does it. But the other action is the ability to sync your payments. So you can see below, here's all the invoices that are in the system that have balances and where there's payment links present. We can process all of them, and Acumatica will go out, it'll look for any payments, it'll create those payments, and it'll apply them to the invoices. And again, you would schedule this if you wanted to not babysit it. Lastly, if we take a look at the B2B portal, the Acumatica Business to Business portal is for your business customers to sign in, to take a look at their account, there's capabilities to allow the customers to create orders. They can shop those orders, check the statuses. They can create support tickets, create cases, and follow it through the case system. But now they can also see bills. The bill screen allows them to see all the invoices, check off the ones they want to pay, select a new card or, again, an AACH or EFT, process their payment, and Acumatica will create a single payment and apply it to all the invoices they selected. So that's it. That's Acumatica Payments and all its capabilities. It's an exciting new addition to Acumatica. Be sure to schedule an appointment with us and find out more and to get yourself set up on it. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.